doing with some people the other day because I was having a conversation with somebody and I really like I was doing a little poll and when I got the answer I thought surely you're kidding people have in my mind some serious faulty thinking but it's not necessarily faulty it's the reality from their own perception from the, for their perspective you know what I mean so the thing was we were talking about um, Let's just say a man or a woman is attracted to like a really thin body style, okay? So maybe that is just what naturally draws you. But let's say you've been, been with somebody married or just a couple or whatever for years or maybe maybe you're 20, so it's been your whole dating life since you were 16. You see what I mean? It's been your whole life. Whatever, you've been with this person a long time and you care about them. The question was, was if your partner got fat, whatever you think that is, and we're going to clarify that in a minute under this poll term, okay, would you leave them? And I hope you girls are sitting down, okay? Do you know that I, someone said it was so matter of fact, cut and dry, it was like, I was like, so if your partner or wife got fat in your eyes would you leave them well yes what I was like you have got to be kidding it wasn't like well how fat are we talking about it wasn't like well did they get fat and depressed and then their personality changed because sometimes that can happen or you've just got somebody that just basically thinks to their self screw life and just everything is like that it's not just their weight weight goes along with the other aspects of their life so that's kind of a loaded question but we weren't talking about that we were and okay so I was like what well how fat are you talking about it was like 20 pounds uh, what <laughs> What kind of screwy society are we living in? Which brings me to another point. But here's another thing. We weren't talking about, uh, have you seen these women on TV and it's like their goal to be the fattest woman in the world? And that's what they call themselves. I'm not fat shaming. I don't go around calling people fat because you do whatever the heck you want to. I'm going to fit in my pants and you don't worry about me and I'm not really going to worry about you. If, if we're coaching together, you're, you're interested in what I'm saying, I hope you're picking up what I'm laying down and I'll lay it down over and over as long as you want to hear it. But if you don't, whatever. Peace to the sister and brother. But we weren't talking about one of these people. We, we were talking about just... I, I don't know if you all realize this, but when you have a child, your body's not the same, okay? Your hips widen a little bit when you're you're giving beautiful birth. Duh! Sometimes I want to slap men. I'm not kidding. And it's not just men. I, I don't want to slap them. I, I just want to, I don't know what. I couldn't believe that. And this person was serious, dead serious. So then there was a poll going on. So then I asked Christopher. And I know how my boy thinks. And my son chooses a girlfriend, doesn't even really choose one. He doesn't seek one out. If that happens for him, then he's thrilled because it's probably a girl that they've kind of fallen for each other. Do you understand? Because he goes by, do they have the same interest? Does this person have passion? He loves, loves smart people because they can have a conversation with him. And my son thinks like that. He is super, super fast, okay? So that's what he chooses. And, and I said, you know, if you were with somebody a long time, or let's say, and he doesn't understand that concept because he's 17, I said, if you had a girlfriend for a while, you know, would, and she got fat, would you leave her? And he was like, what kind of stupid question is that? No. I'm like, what if she got really, really fat? He was like, would she still be the same person? Yes, Mom, she would still be the same person. He got a little perturbed about it because what kind of person thinks that? The person that feels like that in their own mind, right? So when we're out here trying to 
preach veganism at people, you are not going to single-handedly change someone's mind. You can shed your light and you can just think sometimes when people have screwy thinking, okay, sometimes when I say the word clearly, it's like, okay, that's clearly your thinking. And I'm really thinking, you're clearly an idiot in this realm. That's what I'm thinking, but it's not my job to judge anyone because I don't want anyone judging me. Do you see what I mean? Which brings me to another point about vegan partners. I see, and I have a whole video on this, I will link below. It's called Vegan But Your Partner's Not. And maybe they are trying to be vegan, but, or maybe you're eating raw, or they, you're throwing people to the curbside because they decide to eat olive oil and you don't believe in that. Or, you see my point? People are not disposable, you know? They're just not. It's This has become a throwaway society. Like every food, every everything is a package. Every, you buy a couch and it's gonna last you two years. You buy a washing machine and in two years it's barely running. What's up with that? Things used to last and, pe and relationships used to last because people mattered. If you love somebody, you're gonna stick by them. And I asked somebody else about this who's a friend of mine and I know him very well and I feel like this was a truthful answer and I said if your wife that you have been with a long time is still in love and everything got fat would you leave her and he was like no because if you love somebody you love them and this person really I would believe that I would I would put money on the table and I don't throw away money okay so the point is Everybody's got a different perspective and what's yours at the end of the day mine is this I want to be a Beaming light of love in this world and at the end of every day did I show love and every situation I come to and each person I coach and each whatever did I show love if I'm in the grocery store at the register did I show love Did I show love? Just like when I used to say I eat plants so now I eat raw plants and I show love and it's freeing because how simple is that how simply beautiful is it to eat plants and show love but let's just say you are have been married a long time or with somebody a long time or, or whatever maybe you've been with them a year okay maybe you think that's a long time so you're with them and you've decided to go vegan and now you've watched all this stuff and, and you've even got them to watch it some people are not necessarily affected by earthlings by all these different movies okay forks over knives it doesn't register some people do not have a natural empathy and sympathy like you do and maybe you don't have that but different people have different levels of that and some people will rather tell you to screw off than listen to what you're saying they don't care beyond their self and they certainly they don't care about you they certainly don't care about the cow in the pasture do you see what I mean so let's just say you're, you're married and you you've decided to go vegan so you know what so you're gonna throw away your partner your wife or husband or your significant other that you've been with for 10 years because now they don't see eye to eye you know, there's an ebb and flow in life, and we're going to change it. I feel like when we make a commitment to somebody, unless we agree that that commitment's, you know, over whatever, you have to realize that people are going to change. There's going to be ups and downs and goods and bads, ebb and flow. So you're in the ebb of the flow right now, and your partner isn't. So are you gonna throw them away like they don't matter? Can you not look at the good things they did? Maybe your husband is trying to Maybe he's trying to be vegetarian and you're eating plants, meaning you're not even, even eating processed vegan, okay? You're eating whole plants, plant-based vegan diet. Do you understand? You're really like feeling good and you're wanting them to, you want it for them because you know how good it will be for them. But the thing is, they don't want it, okay? And even if they agree to that and they're only doing it for you, they're going to end up letting you down, and worse than that, they're going to let their self down. Is this what you want? Are you going to leave them because they can't see eye to eye? Can you not embrace the fact that maybe, frankly, maybe they're 
uh, they're a paleo eater and they're though they're trying to work out and you realize like that that's not good for their health and all this and you want to bring them up to your level you are never going to tell somebody what to do I mean I guess you could but I don't find that works it's never worked for me I was talking to my dad about this the other day and he was like I'm an adult I don't like to be told what to do and I wasn't telling him what to do he was not speaking about me because I know him very well and that would be the last thing I would do but I was thinking about that. I don't like to be told what to do either. It really makes me want to do the opposite because I'm grown. I don't really need your input. I might like it, but if you're going to force it on me, I don't think so. If somebody's going to send me a text and say, after I get off work, we need to talk. Like I'm a child, guess what? I ain't going to be home. You see what I mean? So, at the end of the day, again, loving people where they are. Maybe you have a family that you're trying to raise your kids eating plants. You're trying to, they're vegan, you got them doing good at home. Maybe you got older kids or teenagers or whatever and it's very hard to keep them on track. They're starting to see and they see how they feel and all this. Maybe they see when they go to grandma's, they eat dairy and the next day they're mucused up to their eyeballs. They can see the difference, okay? But yet you can't drill it into your parents' head or whoever these people are that, hey, I don't want him eating that. Okay, so love them, love them anyway. For the most part, your kids are going to be under your reign. You're buying the food, okay? Chris is not eating meat in my house. He understands that now. He doesn't choose to eat that. But it's not in my home. Christopher is not going to, to drink Coca-Cola or Pepsi-Cola because Mama ain't buying that. You see what I mean? And he hoards his money. He'd rather drink water than he would rather pocket his money. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I'm just saying, people are not disposable. We can't just think, well, everybody around me in this world sucks because my thinking is the only thinking. Because what if they're thinking the same thing? What we're doing is dividing everyone in the world. And what is worse than that is people that are trying to promote real health, which is you and I right okay because I'm gonna say that's true because all the studies show that you know there's factual evidence I mean after all the World Health Organization said meat causes cancer and did you notice that the amount of meat that they're saying causes cancer that you eat it every day was like a tiny bit okay people are eating four times that amount of meat three times a day so do the math on that but I'm not going around saying I was right, I was right. Did y'all see? Meat's carcinogenic. Did that convince you of anything? It convinced you you wanted me to shut up, right, and get off my dang soapbox. So I'm just saying, loving people where they are and loving people. People are not disposable. If your spouse gains 10 pounds and you're going to throw them away, I'll tell you what I've noticed about people dating now is they think there's so many options. There's all these dating sites and there's, people are disposable, okay? And you've got all these people showing, you know, basically they're glamour shots of themselves. People can make themselves look real good and you're not going to see the underlying until they want to show you the real deal, right? So people are not what they appear clearly. So what it has created is even more of a self-centered society where we throw away everybody. You know, I'll tell you what, I wasn't going to throw away my marriage and I hate to harp on this, but I said, baby, come back, come back, right? And then I had to move on and I have. And it's okay. But the thing is, fight for those people you love. Fight for them. They, they may not understand like you may not be on the same page. There are very few people to cling on to in this very dark world. You know, don't throw people away because you don't see eye to eye all the time. What can you agree on? And at the end of the day, did you show love? You know, see you later. So you can keep me. Inside the